Spencer Lewis here for InsideTrackNews.com Post Race to Sunset Speedway with our seventh place finisher here tonight. And I got to preface this with at one point you, you were back in like 22nd, I believe, when you, after you got spun. Yeah, 22nd, 23rd. Yeah, yeah, midway through the race. So it, it was a hell of a recovery. Uh, I, I guess I didn't really do my journalistic duty here because I didn't realize that you'd finish seventh until we, until we rendezvoused later in the pits. Where in the world did that Hillsdale Service Center 14 car come from in the last, in the last seven laps? You know what? We had we had the car all day. It just got stuck in traffic. The heat race felt like I got the sixth, and then I got a car in front of me that couldn't run the pace, and I went back to tenth. And then the Conci was the same thing. Got outside, got door slammed by a guy who shouldn't be door slamming people, and it was just that kind of night. And my spotter's Chuck said to me, he says it can't happen three times in a row. I go out there and I go from twenty. I think I started twentieth, got up to I think it was eleventh, and then Jackson spins me out. He doesn't go to the back, and that just pissed me off. So, so just what you're saying is you were driving angry on the restart, and that was the, that was the key to success. We were three wide before the green. <laughs> now, I mean, this this when we spoke at the beginning of the year, it just seemed as though the way this is all playing out for this 14 car, a brand new chassis, in case no one's seen our interviews this year, <laughs> it has gone exactly the way you said it was going to go. I mean, yeah. you, you said it was going to take a couple of weeks to get up to speed, and then you're going to be knocking down top 10 finishes. I mean, that, this is exactly what's happened so far. You guys have come up to speed with this car, I think, quicker than anyone thought you were going to. You figured Sunset out, I think, quicker than anyone thought you were going to. And now it seems like you're ready to start contending for some solid top five finishes and get ready to, to, to stand on the podium with this car. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to Witty after, and he's like, if Zardo would have got down, I would have been running right in the middle because I knew you are just going to go around us. Like The car was just on rails on the outside. And nice thing about a feature like this is those build motors, the right rear tires are pretty much done. So if you can get up beside them, they can't get off underneath you. And you can kind of get a lot of positions that way. Um, you know what? It's it's been a it's been a painstaking process. We felt like we finally had a good car last last time we were out here, and you know, two laps in, we met the wall and rode off about a thousand bucks worth of stuff in the right front. That was so. a short night. It was. This was a much longer one. And it was it was much more fun too. So <laughs> I think there's just as much damage though. I think every corner ever got knocked up today, but. You know what, it's just one of those things where you just got to keep at it. And we knew that was going to be have to be the attitude coming in. You know, new car, new track. I got to figure things out. End of the day, it was kind of just, I was intimidated to be here. There's a lot of big names. And not so much intimidated, but just, you know, I didn't feel like <clears throat> I was a fast guy. And then, you know, tonight it was it was time to time to start start running to the car's potential. So now that uh, I'd say the first quarter of the season is, is safely put to bed now, we're going to get two weeks off and get ready to come in and, and really make that charge toward midseason. Does this shift the game plan at all? Now that we know we've got this piece where it needs to be, this, this 14 team, and you can contend and you can compete with the elite of this division, where do we go from here heading into quarter number two? You know, for me, it's just going to be, you know, constant improvement. And I mean, for us, there's still a lot we can do. The car is still tight by itself at the end there and uh, on the bottom, and there's, there's things we need to improve that way. And, you know, for me, it's it's about getting my confidence back. And I always have confidence, but confidence when you're racing around guys, believing that you're faster than the guy you're racing. And that's the one thing that winning does to you is you kind of get that confidence. You're the fast guy, and, and when you get that way, you kind of drive drive a little bit differently. Um, so it's kind of finding that confidence. And, you know, I think we're gonna do a little bit of traveling here in the next two weeks. And, uh, check out some different places and maybe see if we can get that groove back a little bit. So there you go. I mean, how can I not take this segue? Where where are we going to see the 14 car in the next couple of weeks? Because we got to, where it's the night off at sunset next weekend and the Don Beater Memorial immediately follows up. So you got two Saturdays where you can go wherever you'd like. Where's the Hillsdale Hurricane going to end up? I mean, I know on the Sunday, the 29th, we're going to be at Chase for the Colors of Peterborough. Um, I might go down there and just spend the weekend down there that weekend. I don't know. And this weekend coming up, I mean, I can't take another, another, another night off. So... Um, you know what, we might might see us at Peterborough again on, on Saturday or I mean Tommy Walters is talking about there's a race somewhere on Sunday, so who knows? Court the speedway. That's what I Sunday. Heard. All right. Well, there you go, my I friend. Like well, going fast. I, I know. I know you hate nights off, so we're, we're gonna have to get this 14 car back out. You, you mentioned at the beginning of the year, long nights in the shop, and then I guess when you're when you're going out there and you're not getting the finishes that you need, they are long nights in the shop. But now with a seventh place finish, does it make it a little bit easier to, to go back to work on this car to get it, you know, even even quicker than where it is right now? You're just working with a better, with a, with a happier demeanor. That's about it because. The work has to get done, and I love racing. So if you love it, you're gonna do the work anyways. Just you know, the only thing that got me through the last couple of weeks is the NHL playoffs. And now that's over. Thank God I got a good finish because I'm not sure how I get back out there. <laughs> thank, thank the sponsors <laughs> to pay the bills, my friend. I gotta thank uh, Thompson Enterprises, Hillsdale Service Center, Baker Performance Parts. Um, you know, my mom, and my dad, they put everything into this program. It's it's much appreciated. Happy Father's Day, Dad. And um, you know what he does for <clears throat> for me and for my brother. 
you know, it's impossible to do to do this without him. And um, you know what? Without him and, and the work that he puts in at the shop to pay the bills, to then come home and work on the race car at the home shop, you know, it's it takes a special kind of father to do that. And I'm really I'm really appreciative of it. And the and brother Travis and I got his first career checkered flag and eliminate model in the in the B main. That was huge. So 50 cals coming up through this field, man. We got. Two, two freshmen at Sunset, freshmen to the racetrack that are figuring this place out in a hurry. And I mean, I, I'd, I'd be surprised if, if both Halliburton's are kept out of feature victory lane uh, when all is said and done here in 2014. Halliburton Brothers Racing is the Facebook page. At T Halliburton is Twitter. And I mean, we're going to have to check your Twitter to know where exactly you're going next weekend. So Yeah, we'll be filling everyone in on, on Facebook and on Twitter. And you know what? I mean, come watch some racing. Watch racing somewhere. Get out and support your home track because you know what? It was cold tonight. The show that got put on tonight between the Super Stocks, Dan Archibald, Paul Ginoli Jr., Steve Cashmore, Tyler Liskam, Randy Russell, there was like seven fights. We went at it like crazy tonight. Everyone's pissed off. Everyone's happy. you got to be here and watch this. There's not a show like it. There you go, folks. The Hillsdale Hurricane, Thane Halberd, driver of the 14 car. Hey, have a good two weeks off, my friend. We'll see you back here.